The International Cycling Union has finally come around and declared that it would strip Lance Armstrong of its seven Tour de France title, of his seven Tour de France titles, excuse me, um, the latest really in a string of bad news uh, for, for that one-time cycling great who of course has come into a lot of trouble because of uh, doping charges. Vanessa O'Connell has been covering the story very closely with Rita Lugatti is here to tell us a bit more about what this latest development is. What have we got? Yes, well, um, as many people know, this sort of initiated out of the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency, which had charged Lance Armstrong with doping and with encouraging his teammates to dope, and with being basically spearheading kind of a doping conspiracy on the U.S. Postal team. The International Cycling Union what, was able to appeal that, mm. and it had until October 31st to decide whether it was going to do that. It decided mm. that it will not appeal the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency's findings. So that means essentially Lance Armstrong's name is going to be erased from the record books. Mm. Um, the tour organizer is not going to be awarding the titles to any of the runners up because so many cyclists have been found to have tested positive for doping. Right. Now, I mean, this was a lot of the testimony that came out. Was this, was this kind of critical in the, in the, in the uh, union taking a different stance? It seemed to be fighting yes, back somewhat. Until the now. testimony was critical. Essentially, the International Cycling Union had demanded to see USADA, the U.S. anti-doping agency's files. Mm. So just two weeks ago, USADA basically handed over a massive 200-page file full yeah. of testimony, affidavits from more than a dozen riders. And a lot of that evidence was pretty damning, even though there has not been a positive drug test for Lance Armstrong that uh, is definitive. Anything more that can happen to Lance Armstrong at this stage, or is, yes. you know, what's, what's still in the cards? Yes. Now, so now um, we may see some litigation unfold, essentially. He may be stripped of his gold medal that he had from the Sydney Olympics. Mm. Um, and I'm sorry, that was a bronze medal bronze in the medal. Sydney, Sydney Olympics. Um, we are likely to see some litigation unfold where some of the companies that had insured his wins and his mm. bonus money may, no go, may now go after him right. for fraud. Right, fair enough. Listen, Vanessa, that's all we have time. Thanks very much for your, for your time. Fascinating story. There'll be more to come, it seems.